when was the last time I felt free? Good question, right? But to answer that question, I have to think, when was the last time I felt confident or capable? Or when was the last time that I felt that I can conquer the world or at least my world? And why am I starting my story with a bunch of questions? Uh, I think this is why my family said that um, this is why I love art, especially acting. My family said that I love to add a lot of suspense to my stories. Well, I say suspense, they say maze, agree to disagree. But for my maze, no, my story to make sense, I have to share a little bit about my journey. I am a military wife, a mother of three amazing young women. One of them suffered for a complicated condition of middle child syndrome. And my other two daughters are in the spectrum of autism. It's been an emotional and challenging journey, but not because of them. They are perfect. They are the most beautiful, perfect imperfection. That's my opinion what a definition of being a woman is. Perfect imperfection. They are great at it. Um, so my challenges has been my internal struggle between being the wife, the mother, no, being the caregiver, the lifeguard. And trying not to lose myself in the process. It's just not easy. So my life became a battlefield against anything or everything. Professionals like doctors, nurses, teachers, schools, process, insurance, and the norm. Actually, I want to clarify, when I say professional, I mean the judgmental people or the judgmental individual in the profession. And I don't mean all. There are good ones out there that really cares. But for these judgmental individuals, it was easier to make me fit in their norm their process instead of looking away to help. And yes, I say me because I'm the one who have to do the work. They knew, they knew that sooner than later, I need to move. So it was easier to shame me, make me feel that everything is my fault. Oh, saying stuff like, um, you know, it's because of you that your daughters are autistic or because your English isn't good. That's why your daughters are struggling in school. Or if you really care, you will make the time to better yourself. Time. Precious time. Oh, and my favorite, you never finish anything. The irony, everything is my fault. I'm not good enough. 
but I was uh, there expecting me to do it all and do it right. They expect me to be the teacher and the assistant, the therapist. Doesn't matter what kind of therapy, from ABA to physical therapy to speech therapy, I have to be an expert. Oh, don't forget, my English is no bueno. But I have to learn how to properly use legal terms in a meeting and how to identify keywords in a document, in a legal document, which word to put in and take out just to protect my daughter's right to service. And I never finish anything. No. As a military wife, my job is not that much about finishing. But is to adapt, to have the ability to start over and over and over again. To build something out of nothing every time you move. I know, I know how to fight for my family. I just forgot how to fight for myself. In the middle of all of this, my amazing and wonderful husband keep asking me, hey mom, what do you want to do when you grow up? I really dislike this question because that means that I have to make another appointment, but this time with myself, <laughs> and have a meeting about this. And I did, but I did what I do best. I make lists. So I make two lists. One list, it was what I'm good at. And the other list was what I want. I that didn't get me anywhere. Didn't work. So I have another meeting and I rephrase the question. When was the last time I felt free, confident, capable? Oh, I forgot to tell you, right? Um, all of this is happening in the middle of the pandemic when everyone, all my family is in my house, my kids finishing high school, my husband working for home. And I thought, what a perfect moment to work with my issues. And I did. So I make more meetings and I talked and I talked. And then I remember when was the last time that I felt free? It was on stage. The problem was I didn't want to say it out loud or admit it, but I did it. I said it out loud and I admitted it. So I started looking for classes. So I took my third class in person and I loved it completely from love all over again. And by my third class, I gather all this courage that I didn't know that I have. And I apply for the Theatre Lab Honors Acting Conservatory. And I got in and I was happy. I was happy. I was enjoying every moment, every single moment in my time in the conservatory during. And I, just to put you in perspective, what a regular person, what 
it takes a regular person to do in a lifetime. I can do it in a few hours. And they pay me for it. It was great. I was having a wonderful time, a great, great time. But I still second guessing myself. I still doubting myself. I still hearing all those voices. I still hearing those same comments. And it was affecting me, but I keep going. I didn't quit. And when it was the most stressful time during the conservatory program, almost towards the end, it happened. It clicked, or you can say it was a eureka moment, a delight, or a cliche, however you want to call it. It just happened. And I know exactly when it happened. In my, I was doing a play called Fade. And in the final scene, when Abigail, the character that I was playing, was in the middle of this situation in when in where she had to make a choice. She had to decide if she was going to keep her head down and let life pass or she will get up and speak up. And Abigail answered, she said, I'm not your fucking maid. And then, like out, music started, the play was over, was done. And I, I felt free. I realized I was saying those words. And like Abigail, I was studying. I was starting learning to fight for myself. 